Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. I am so excited about this video because it has been so requested ever since I uploaded my room tour for you guys. Which by the way, if you guys have not seen the tour of this room, the box that I'm in right now, you can click right here. I'll also have it linked in the down bar. But I didn't want to make that video too long so I left out my closet and bathroom. But I have been getting tons and tons of requests since then for me to film this video. Also, before we get into it, I quickly just want to make a disclaimer. You guys know that I'm not trying to brag in any type of way. If you're not subscribed to me and you just randomly stumbled upon this video, I do not live with my parents. I live out in LA and pay rent to live in this room and yes, just want to get that out of the way before we get any negative Nancy's in the comments down below. Okay, enough talking. Let's get into my closet and bathroom tour. We're gonna keep this video casual and I'm just gonna be holding my vlog camera as I show you guys because I feel like that's easiest to kind of really get into depth with everything that's inside. So when you first walk in, this is what you see. The lighting is actually super awesome up here. I really appreciate like the backlighting. So when you walk in, this is what you see to the right. In between that, we've got my bathroom, and then this is what is on the other side. Starting off with the door, I have a hook on it, and I throw on whatever purse I am using lately. So right now, I've got this backpack on there, and then also, I like to hang my favorite black crossbody bag up here. We're gonna start off on the right side of my closet. So over here, we've got these little cubbies with some white baskets. I got them from Target. So these top two baskets have all of my kind of winter snow stuff. So we've got scarves, hats, ugh, <laughs> things like that. And here we've got gloves, stuff for snowboarding. Up there, I don't even know what's up there because I haven't touched those bins since moving. Over here, we've got this cute little silver tray with all of my perfumes on it. And then underneath that, I have a bin of some extra purses that I don't really use, but I like to throw my belts in here, so it's kind of like accessories. Then underneath that, I've got four drawers. So the top two are filled with products that I haven't used yet that either companies sent to me or I'm just waiting to try out. Down here, we've got my bathing suits. So this first drawer has all my bathing suit tops. And then down here, we've got my bottoms, as well as some cool one pieces and Things like that. Moving on over here, we've got the majority of my shirts. And these are just the regular length shirts, short sleeve. Um, they go a little longer back there. And yeah, I'm not really gonna go through them, but we've got shirts here. Then down here, we've got my tops that don't cover my shoulders. So any like spaghetti strap shirts, tanks, stuff like that. It slowly fades into leotards. And then we've got rompers and t-shirt dresses and more casual kind of dresses. Over here, we've got some fancier pieces. I usually get rid of my dresses if I wear them to a certain event because if it already gets photographed, I usually don't wear it ever again. So I just like to sell it. But these are a few of the pieces that I kind of kept. So you you might be able to recognize some of them. Above that, we've got a purse and some scarves. So moving on to this little middle piece right here, this is like my favorite part of the closet because I love these little glass doors. It just makes it look like a little store. So opening this up, on the first shelf, we've got some of my jewelry and all these little organizational pieces and stuff are from Michaels. So these and all of the black things. My bigger rings over here, my mom brought me this little Western styled choker and you tie it around your neck and it looks so cool. Um, so I'm really excited about that. Thanks mom. And then we've got some studs, chunkier necklaces, bracelets. Above that we've got purses, backpack, another bag up there, a hat my Adidas duffel bag that I use for traveling. Then underneath that, we've got my fancier bras, so like lacy bralettes, things like that. Pasties, pretty much anything that your boobs need. Um, <laughs> then below that, I've got shirts that I can't hang, so these are two tube tops, and then we have some fancier like 
uh, sleeveless crop tops and some bandanas and things like that. Underneath that we've got some extra hangers. I know I pronounced that word weirdly. That's just how I grew up saying it, but you guys will notice that I like to use the same hangers. Um, I just think it looks nicer and since they're super thin you actually save a lot of space and they grip onto your clothes nicely. So I like to get all of mine from Amazon because I just buy them in bulk and they're great. I 100% recommend. We've got my fancier pants, so flowy kind of silk high-waisted pants, things like that. And then in the last drawer we've got some maxi skirts and a random cardigan. Moving on to the left, up here we've got my crop tops. Gotta love a good crop top, so we've got quite a bit of those and then underneath we have my skirts and as you can see I bought these little clip things that you can also get on Amazon and they clip onto the hanger and help you store your bottoms and it's great so we've got lots of skirts and then going over here we've got the majority of my shoes I would say so we've got boots heels things like that I'm not really gonna go through all of them but you know you guys can see shoes very fun. Up there I have these really cool like crochet knee boots from Nasty Gal. Here we've got some longer like dresses, maxi, stuff like that. Actually a company recently sent me this robe and I thought it was so cool because it says Claudia Suski on it so maybe I'll wear it for like a Halloween costume one day or something. I think Nyx did it. Hopefully I got that right. And then underneath that we've got my favorite boots in the entire world. They're Stuart Weitzman over the knee boots so I've got the gray and black ones and they have their own little special spot. So that is it for the right side of my closet. Then going this way, this is what it looks like again. We've got another little shoe shelf over here with just my sneakers and running shoes, flat tops, whatever you guys want to call them. Got some Adidas sneakers in here. These are fun. Yeah, that's kind of an idea of the shoes that I own. Then over here we've got my more casual graphic t-shirts. There you go. <laughs> I like don't know how in depth I should be going with this stuff. But underneath that, we've got my lighter jackets. So I'm always reaching for this area because I have my denim jackets from Topshop. And then over here we've got some longer sleeve shirts, button up shirts, kind of stuff like that. Then going this way, we've got all of my sweaters. So down here we've got a few more kind of fancier ones. It kind of starts to mix, but over here we've got like my hoodies and my crew necks. Then we've got another little glass showcase shelf thing. I don't know what it's called, but up there we've got some backpacks, a bag, another purse. Here I've got my baseball caps, so I just kind of line them up behind each other and then we've also got some more accessories and all of these little things once again are from Michaels I also have these little hooks that are great to store your necklaces now here are all of my intimates so we've got bras very fun underwear also very fun socks not as fun anymore these are like my everyday white socks we've got my pajama shirts and then lastly just some pajama bottoms jackets leather jackets suede flannels more back there then underneath we've got kind of thicker heavier and warmer coats then going this way we've got the majority of my bottoms two airplane pillows some yoga pants, thicker sweatpants, fancier kind of material shorts. Underneath that, we've got all of my denim shorts folded up. And then lastly, all of my longer jeans. And I recently just started rolling them and I actually love it so much more because it's saving space, but also I can see all of my pants better than just folding them on top of each other. Up here we've got two bins and there's nothing fun in them, they're just like, dust bags and things like that. Sunglasses, really nice having them kind of laid out so you can see all of them. So at the top we've got sports bras, clearly I really like gray sports bras. <laughs> and then underneath that we've got my workout shirts and tops, workout shorts, leggings, most of mine are in the wash right now, and then lastly we've got um, tights, longer socks, fuzzy socks. So that is actually it for my closet. And yeah, I really love the space. It clearly gives me a lot of variety to kind of organize everything in different ways. So I've definitely switched around a bunch of stuff. But it's fun. It's, it's yeah, <laughs> I like it. 
Okay, now going this way, we've got my bathroom. The lighting just went super blue compared to how orange it was in there, but I'll give you guys a little overview. So, that's the bathroom. Got like two windows up there. And shower, toilets. So first up, we have this little three-part laundry cart and I got it from Amazon. It's awesome because it rolls super easily and I'm able to separate my darks from my colors from my whites. Here's my bathtub. It's really fun because there's little air holes at the bottom and they shoot out, so they're like little jets. Back there, I usually keep my Lush products in that jar, but I haven't gotten any in a while. Then here is a little overview of my countertop. Bobby pins, clips, hair ties. This is a makeup setting spray, face cleanser, lotion, retainer, hand towel. I'm just like listing them. Um, I got this little mercury glass from Target. Oh, this little white marble soap holder is from Bed Bath & Beyond. But we've got toothbrush, toothpaste. This thing is awesome. Bare Minerals actually sent it to me. And it is a little brush bar. So you take this off and you've got every single brush that your face would ever need. And it's nice because it protects it from any dust and bacteria falling on your brushes. And then next to that, I use this for my makeup every day. It's just a little L mirror from Ikea and then we've got some more soap and this little glass jar of my face masks My two bath mats are from Target, and then let's let's get into this. Hopefully you guys find this entertaining I really enjoy organizing things. So I'm personally having a great time filming this this drawer is used a lot so we've got Tweezers, little scissors, I've got my makeup wipes in here. It perfectly fits. Like, can we talk about that real quick? And then over here we've got like floss, face stuff, deodorant, extra brushes, benefit products, random sprays. Then below that we've got my hair brushes and scrunchies, hair bands, kind of things like that. And then lastly, we've got some little traveling organizers for toiletries, makeup. Underneath the first sink, it looks like this. We've got most of my hair products lined up, as well as these little empty bottles because I travel a lot, so I like to put my shampoo and conditioner into them. And then in this bottom drawer, we've got all of my Saint Tropez mousse and tanning products, stuff like that. And then above that, we've got my little tanning mitts for the mousse. Next to that, we've got some of my makeup. These drawers are from the container store. They're really convenient. This plastic bin has all of my nail polishes, nail filers. Then going above that, we've got my everyday makeup. So this is pretty much what I use every single, I don't use all of them every day, obviously, but this is what I usually like to grab for when I'm doing my makeup. And it's nice having everything in one spot because I just have this open and I do my makeup with the mirror. That is it for that drawer. Going under here, here we've got some more super exciting stuff. Yeah, amazing. All the way to the left, top drawer, we've got women's products, everything you need when being a girl. Underneath that, we've got my hair tools, so curlers, straighteners, coconut oil. And then lastly, we've got some products that I've yet to use that I've just received over the past few months from like companies and stuff. And then in this corner, we've got my shower, which is so huge and I love it so much. <laughs> Very appreciative of it. So starting off on this wall, this was probably the greatest thing I could have ever done was hanging one of these little sticker hooks because I just hang my loofah on there. Some body wash and shaving stuff, razors, shampoo, conditioner, more face face stuff, I can't talk today. And yeah, that is the shower. Hopefully it wasn't too echoey in there. And then lastly, we've got the toilet. Garbage can, toilets, winter themed mat that I just haven't gotten rid of yet. And then I really like this little corner thing. I got it from Target, built it, put it up, and I feel like it adds a nice little completed touch to that random little corner. And then also, I use this ring light for my makeup every day. I bring it back to the mirror and use that and then usually I have towels here but they're dirty right now so we're gonna pretend like I have white towels hanging there 
and lastly a scale. So that is it for my bathroom and closet tour. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I am seriously so in love with my setup and it just makes me really motivated to get up and get ready and wear cute outfits and all that stuff. So if you guys enjoyed today's video, of course give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel to watch more videos in case you are not already. And yeah, of course my room tour will be linked down there as well and I will see you guys for a new video next week. Bye!